Hello everyone, this is Bao Yunqing. I'm going to present our work HDMI High Order Deep Multiplex Informax. This is a joint work with Professor Chen Yun Park from KAIST and my advisor Professor Hang Hang Tong from UIUC. This presentation is compressed of five components, introduction, preliminary, methodology, experiments, and conclusion. Now let's move on to the introduction. Network has been observed in many applications, for example, the product network, the social network, and the paper network. And nodes within all of the networks are connected by various relations. For example, in the product network, the relations include also view, also buy, and bought together. In a social network, relations include friendship, colleague, and classmates. In the paper network, the papers can be connected by the citation, by the same author or by the same keywords. Self-supervised learning for network representation learning has attracted a lot of research attention in recent years. The aim of the self-supervised learning is to train models without external training signals, which means it does not need human labeling. And a lot of recent studies have shown that the pre-trained models perform well for downstream tasks. A key challenge of the self-supervised learning is how to build the training signal. Recently, Deep Graph Informax, DGI for short, has proposed a mutual information-based training signal. The key idea of DGI is to maximize the mutual information between node embedding HN and the summary vector S of the entire network. However, there are two limitations of DGI. Firstly, it only considers the extrinsic global information. However, it ignores the intrinsic node attribute information. We believe that a node embedding should effectively capture the node attribute information. Most of the existing methods use the reconstruction arrow to capture this information. However, the reconstruction arrow does not necessarily imply the high quality of the node embedding. In our work, we propose to capture the intrinsic information by maximizing the mutual information between the node embedding and the attributes. We propose to use the high order mutual information to jointly capture both extrinsic and the intrinsic signals. We also propose a novel high order deep infomax, HDI for short, as the training signal. The second limitation of DGI is that it assumes a single type of relationships among nodes. However, nodes within the real-world networks are usually connected by multiple relationships, which are actually multiplex graph. The figure at the bottom provides an example of the multiplex graph. Now each relation in the multiplex graph is a layer of the graph. The common strategy to learn the node embedding for the multiplex graph is to firstly separately consider each layer and then combine embeddings from different layers. Probably the simplest way to combine embeddings across different layers is the average pooling. However, in our work, we propose an attention-based fusion model uh, to combine the embeddings from different layers. Now let's move on to the preliminary. In this section, I will briefly overview the key steps of a DGI since our work is closely related to DGI. Suppose we are given an original network. Then DGI will firstly generate a corrupted network via the corruption function C. And then it will use the encoder to obtain the positive node embedding from the original network and the negative node embedding h tilde from the corrupted network. Thirdly, it will use the readout function R to obtain the summary vector S for the original network. Fourthly, it will use the discriminator DE to discriminate the positive node embedding H from the negative node embedding H tilde. Finally, it will maximize the mutual information between the positive node embedding H and the summary vector S via the binary cross entropy loss for the discriminator. I will formally introduce the proposed method in the methodology section. We firstly propose a novel training signal for self-supervised learning on graphs, which is called high-order deep infomax, HDI for short. 
HDI is able to jointly capture the extrinsic and the intrinsic signals. And HDI is based on the high order mutual information between node embedding H, the summary vector S, and the node attribute F. As shown in the equation, the high order mutual information can be decomposed into three mutual information with two random variables. The first one is the mutual information between the node embedding H and the summary vector S, which is the extrinsic signal. The second one is the mutual information between node embedding H and the node attribute F, which is the intrinsic signal. The third one is the mutual information between node embedding H and the joint random variable of S and F, which is the joint signal. Now, given this equation, if we want to maximize the high order mutual information, we are actually maximizing the extrinsic and the intrinsic signals and the minimizing the joint signal. However, due to the negative sign of the joint signal, we are actually maximizing the joint signal. The final object function is shown here. So the maximizing the high order mutual information is actually maximizing the extrinsic, the intrinsic, and the joint mutual information. The final objective function for the above equation is shown here. L are the BCE losses of the discriminators. Now, the figure here illustrates how HDI works. Figure A shows the extrinsic and the intrinsic signals. Figure B shows the joint signal. Now, suppose we're given the original network, as shown here and here. We firstly use the corruption function C to obtain the corrupted network, here and here. Secondly, we use the encoder E to obtain the node embedding H for the original network and the H tilde for the corrupted network. Thirdly, we use the readout function R to obtain the summary vector S of the original network. Now, for the extrinsic signal, we use the discriminator DE given the summary vector S to discriminate the node embedding H and the H tilde. Secondly, for the intrinsic signal, given the node attribute F, we discriminate H from H tilde. Thirdly, for the joint signal, given S and the H, we use the discriminator DJ to discriminate F and F tilde. Now we extend the HDMI to multiplex graphs. The key challenge is how to combine node embeddings from different layers. And we propose an attention-based diffusion model where we learn different weights for node embeddings from different layers. To train the fusion model, we apply HDI on top of the fused embedding. Now we have the full model, which is called a high order deep multiplexing for max, HDMI for short. And the object function of HDMI is the combination of the object function for fusion model and the loss function for the different layers. Now I'll show the most important experimental results. We evaluate our proposed approach on four real-world datasets, namely ACM, IMDB, DBLP, and Amazon. ACM and DBLP are two paper-paper networks. IMDB is a movie-movie network, and Amazon is a product-product network. And we would like to answer two questions. Firstly, how will HDI and HDMI improve the quality of the node embeddings? Secondly, will the fusion module assign appropriate attention scores to different layers? With these questions, we evaluate our methods on two types of tasks. The first one is the node classification, and we use micro F1 and macro F1 as an evaluation matrix. The second one is the node clustering. And we use the normalized mutual information, NMI for short, and similarity search to evaluate the quality of the node clustering. We compare our methods with two types of baselines. The first one is the network embedding methods, such as the deep walk and the DGI. The second one is the multiplex network embedding methods, like HAN and the DMGI. 
This table shows the experimental results on the node classification tasks on four different datasets. The upper part are the network embedding methods. The middle part are the multiplex network embedding methods. And the lower part are our proposed methods. HDMI is the full model, and HDI is the ablated version of HDMI, which use average pooling as the fusion model. As can be shown in the table, HDMI performs the best. HDI is better than the baselines. This table shows the experimental results of uh, node clustering tasks. As can be observed from the table that HDMI performs the best on the IMDB, DBLP, and the Amazon datasets, except for the ACM dataset. However, as can be observed from the table that the scores of HDMI are quite close to the best scores. Therefore, in general, HDMI performs the best. And also, HDI is better than the baselines. These two tables are the results for the ablation study, and the first table contains the results for the node classification tasks, and the second table contains the results for the node clustering tasks. The first rows of the two tables are the datasets, namely ACM, IMDB, DBLP, and Amazon. The second rows are the layers within each dataset. For example, in the ACM dataset, there are two layers, PSP and PAP. E here means the extrinsic signal, R means the reconstruction error, I means the intrinsic signal, and J means the joint signal. The first conclusion we can make from these tables is that the intrinsic signal and the joint signal significantly improve over the extrinsic signal. The second conclusion is that the fusion mechanism in the HDMI improves over the simple average pooling used by HDI. Thirdly, the reconstruction error does not imply high-quality embedding. This is because the scores of E plus R are similar to the scores of E, and the scores of E plus R are significantly worse than the scores of E plus I. In this slide, we show the TSN visualization results of the proposed approaches. We first compare different signals on the IOI layer of the Amazon network. E means the extrinsic signal, R is the reconstruction error, I is the intrinsic signal, and the J is the joint signal. As can be seen from this figure that the intrinsic signal and the joint signal improve the quality of the node embedding. However, the reconstruction error does not significantly improve the quality over the extrinsic signal. Secondly, we also compare the fusion mechanism on the ACM network. The ACM network is compressed of the two layers, namely the PSP and the PAP. Average here means the average pooling over the node embeddings from different layers, and the fusion means the attention-based fusion mechanism. As can be shown in the red boxes, the proposed fusion mechanism better separates the node embeddings. This slide shows the different attention scores for different layers within networks. The x-axis of the four figures is the layer of the network and the blue bars are the F1 scores, and the green bars are the attention weights. We can conclude from these four figures that appropriate attention scores are assigned to different layers. This is because layers with higher F1 scores will usually receive higher attention scores. Finally, let me make a brief conclusion of the work. In this work, we propose a novel mutual information-based self-supervised learning for graphs. The first challenge is how to jointly capture the extrinsic and the intrinsic information for graphs. Our solution is the high-order deep infomax, HDI for short. The second challenge is how to extend HDI to multiplex graphs. We propose a novel attention-based fusion module, and the full model is called the high-order deep multiplex infomax, HDMI for short. The experimental results show that the HDI significantly improves the quality of the node embeddings, and the HDMI further improves the HDI on the multiplex graph. Thank you.